Hey George. Hey. What? I think you have got one. Huh? Pull the rod when I say. Pull the rod. Pull it. Woohoo! Look at that. Look at the fish I've caught. Yeah. Wow, George. That's a big one. This is so big. <laughs> I think we have got enough for the day. Now let's take it home and ask your mom to cook it for us. Mom is going to be so happy today. All right. I will hold the fish. You pack your things and let's walk back. Father, in the class yesterday, you told us that Hosea experienced the pain of loving as God did. Why did you say that? Hmm. That's because Hey, do you want to hear the story of Hosea as we walk back home? Yes, father. Tell us the story, please. All right. Now listen carefully. Hosea was the last prophet sent to Israel. He was a man who experienced the depth of God's love and the bitterness of betrayal. He lived at a time when the country was in a total mess. All the evils that Amos had warned the people of Israel about had now become widespread and was common everywhere. Murder and robbery had become very common. Poor were forced into slavery. Priests and judges, instead of teaching the laws, got greedy for profit and encouraged corruption. And against the commandments, God and the idol of Baal were worshipped in the same altar. One day at the palace, people were celebrating the coronation of Prince Zechariah, the people. O oh Lord Baal, Lord of fertility, accept our offerings and bless us. Huh, I can't watch this anymore. Prophet to blame, why don't you say anything against this cruelty? I... I'm an old man. What can I do? Hosea, I'm heartbroken. Why are you crying, Master? Do you see that woman dancing over there? Wow, she's such a beauty. But, but she's a prostitute. What about her? She? Huh? She's my daughter, Hosea. What? But how? How did she end up like that? The king and the priests are forcing all the beautiful women in the country into prostitution. She... she had no choice. And I could do nothing to help her. Oh no! Don't worry, Master. Everything is going to be all right. Hosea! I want you to do me a favor, can you? What is it, Master? Can you take her away from this place? Take her with you. Save her, please. Hosea didn't know what to say that day, but he sure knew what to do the next day, because that night, the very same night Prophet Diblaim asked him to rescue his daughter, God appeared to Hosea. Hosea. Huh? God? Hosea, go and marry the prostitute. Israel has become a prostitute by abandoning me. I will do as you say, my lord. Hosea was a firm follower of God. And the next day, he went to the temple to meet Goma, the daughter of Prophet Diblaim. Shh! 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 Goma! Huh? Goma, here. Who are you? I will tell you. Come with me to the gardens. All right. You go ahead. I have seen you before. You are priest from Samaria, isn't it? No, I'm neither a priest of Baal and I'm not from Samaria. Then who are you? My name is Hosea and I'm from Jezreel. Why are you here, Hosea? You... You are so beautiful. 
What are you staring at? Tell me why you are here. Listen to me very carefully. Goma, I love you. Love me? Ha! I'm the temple dancer. I don't care about that. I love you so much and I want you to come with me. But what? What are you saying? But don't you know that I'm a temple dancer? I'm a prostitute. I know Goma, and I also know who made you like this. Those wretched priests and the king. Don't worry. God sees everything. No, it can't be. I have no life of my own. My life is ruined. Goma, Goma, listen. I have your father's blessings. Huh? Yes. Let's get out of here. We will go to Jezreel, my home. Nobody will be able to find us there. No, it can't be. I have to go now. They'll be looking for me. Don't worry about that, Goma. Before they realize you are missing, we will be gone. You want to leave right now? Yes, right now. Come with me. I have a horse ready. But but I have to say a word to my father. Don't worry. I have already told him. That night, both of them fled to Jezreel. Many months and years passed. Many revolutions and war took place. Kings were killed and there were frequent change of power in Israel. The whole country was in an utter chaos. Streets were flooded with dead bodies. What Amos predicted was coming true. In the meantime, Goma gave birth to a child. Goma! Come on here. Take a look at our child. He is so beautiful. What are we going to call him? Have you decided on a name yet? Yes, we are going to call him Jezreel. What? Jezreel? But it's the name of a place. Yes, it was a place where Jehu the captain killed the king. I know that. But why that name for our son? Because the captain was unfaithful to his master. He should have loved him and protected him. But instead, he killed his own king. But, but... Don't worry, Goma. We Israelites have become like that captain. Instead of serving the Lord, we have turned our backs against him. Our son's name will remind us the condition of our home and the country. Hosea, please. No, Goma. I have decided. We are going to call our son Jezreel. It was God who asked Hosea to name the child Jezreel. The name reflected how sad Hosea was about the condition of his home. Hosea had become a very sad and grave man. He always prayed to God and was very serious all the time. Hey, look! It's Hosea! Yes! Hosea! Hosea here! Huh? What is it? Come here, Hosea. Let's chat for a while. Yes, come here. You are always looking so serious. I'm sorry, but I can't. I have to go somewhere now. Why? You want to go to another temple? What's the use of praying all day? Come sit here and have fun for a change. No, I can't. Hey, did you hear the name he has kept for his firstborn son? What is it? It's Jezreel. <laughs> but it's the name of a place, isn't it? This guy is crazy. Don't worry about me. I think you should stop ignoring your true God and worship Him instead of making fun of me. Are you saying that Baal is not the true God? You know it, who the God of Israel is, and yet you choose to ignore Him. You are now running behind idol worship. That's against God's commandments. Hey, Hosea, don't let the soldiers hear you talk like this. They will behead you if they hear you insulting our God, Baal. 
Yes, you can go away, my friend. We don't want to be seen along with you talking. Otherwise, we might get into trouble too. Yeah, go away. We don't want you here. All right, I'm going. People made fun of Hosea because he was always sad and serious. But Hosea was more worried about his God and his country. What Amos predicted was coming true. The kings were killing each other. A few days back, the military commander killed his own king and became the ruler of Samaria. Hosea's wife conceived and gave birth to a daughter. And that night, Hosea, God, call her name, Lo Ruhama, for I will no longer have mercy on the house of Israel, but I will utterly take them away. I will, Lord, Lo Ruhama. Mother, <laughs> come here, son. Look at your baby sister. Wow, she's so beautiful. <laughs> Isn't she? Daddy. Dear. My husband. She's really beautiful. We are going to call her Lo Ruhama. What? No. I'm not going to name her that. We are going to call her Sara. No, we can't. You have to agree with me, my dear. But Loruhama? But why do you want to call her that? It's God's wish, my dear. It means no mercy. No mercy? Yes. God wants the people of Israel to know that He will show no mercy on them. He wants them to know that they would get the punishment they deserved. Hosea obeyed God's commands without a question. And in few years, Gomer gave birth to a second son. Call his name Loami, for you are not my people, and I will not be your God. Hey Hosea, what is it? I heard that you named your second son Loami. Yes, I did. Hosea, this is the strangest name we have ever heard. Why don't you call your bows Abraham, Isaac or Jacob or some respectable name like other folks? Hey, what do you mean by not my people? That's what God commanded me to do. And every time I call my child by that name, it reminds how the people of Israel pushed away our Lord God. It reminds me that we are no longer His people. <laughs> you are crazy, my friend. You should stop being so serious. It's because you are a loner that you keep getting such thoughts. So what do you want me to do? Go with you to your temples and worship Baal? Or do you want me to join you for drinking and wasting away my life? Hey, you need to stop worrying, my friend. There's nothing wrong with having a little fun sometime. No, I'm sorry. But I can't forget the Lord and ignore His commandments. One night, while he was sleeping, he had a dream. A vulture appeared in his dream and he started following it. What? A vulture? A vulture over the house of Lord? What does it mean? Hosea, the people of Israel have broken my covenant. I am going to punish them according to the covenant. I will start with the priest who defiled my temple. You must go to Samaria immediately. The next day morning, Hosea left for Samaria as God commanded. Do you have to really go? You know I have to, dear. I must follow God's orders. But then what am I going to do with these three little kids? Daddy! How can I resist God's call? I don't understand you. I think, I think you're sick. Otherwise, how can your God be more important than your wife and children? Don't worry. You have enough to live. And besides, the neighbors are good too. They will take care of you. But... Uh... Trust in God and wait in patience. I will be back soon. Huh. 
In a way, I'm happy that he's gone. Nobody can put up with his strange ways. He's always so sad. I'm fed up with this life. I used to have such a fantastic time. We had so much fun. Oh, I really miss those days. I should have never left the temple. After a few days since Hosea left his house, a soldier from Samaria came to Hosea's house. Who are you? Hello, Goma. Don't you recognize me? Huh? You know my name? I know you. Uh, you are. Uh, you you are Simri. My goodness. <laughs> so you haven't forgotten me. How can I ever forget you? We used to have such a good time. Yes, we did. Come, come inside. Here, Simri, drink this water. Thank you. So tell me, what's the news in Samaria? Oh, it's been really dull since you left the temple. The new girls are not as good as you. Hmm, I miss those days. And your husband, Hosea? What about him? He is crazy. He is going around and cursing everyone like a madman. How can you live with a person like that? Why don't you come with me? Hmm, I'm tired of him. I would love to come with you. That day, Gorma left Hosea's house and went with that soldier. She was so cruel that she sold her children at the slave market and went on to live with that soldier. In the meantime, the rulers of Israel were planning to attack Judah and they were marching towards Jerusalem. The priests in the temple were offering sacrifices to ensure their victory over Judah. O oh God Almighty, please bless and strengthen our army marching against Judah. Stop it! Huh? Hosea, it's you? What's the matter? Judah is our brother and they are begging for peace. Are you offering sacrifices to destroy our own people? It's the king's order. We offer sacrifices for the good of the people. You offer your sacrifices to this peace made in gold. You forcefully take what belongs to poor. Hosea, watch your words. Don't you remember what happened to Amos? I'm not afraid. You consider the prophets mad and you silence them. And now you are threatening me. The day of the disaster is here. Get out of here. Guards, take him away. Leave me. Ugh. You defile the country with your crimes. The fire of God's wrath is coming from the north. It will purify this land. My house, what happened? It's all gone. What happened here? My wife, my children, where have they all gone? Hey, is it you, Hosea? Yes. Do you know what happened to my wife and children? Hosea, I'm so sorry to tell you this. After you left, your wife stayed around for a while. But one day, a soldier from Samaria came and she left with him. Goma, why did you? And my children, what happened to my children? Oh, Hosea, I didn't realize Goma was so cruel. She sold her children in the slave market and she enjoyed with the money she got. She stayed with that soldier for two months. But then he got bored with her and he left her. Oh no! I heard she's a slave now somewhere. I'm sorry, Hosea. You must try to forget her. Oh, Goma, how could you be so cruel? How could you forget me after I saved you from that temple? You don't know how to be a faithful wife. And our children, how could you do that to them? Hosea was heartbroken. The person he loved the most had left him. He now truly understood the pain of God. He understood how it felt like when someone you loved turned their backs on you. Oh no, my kids, 
my darling. No, I'm not going to let her go. I'm not going to rest until I find you. You are mine. I'm coming for you. Hosea traveled for many days searching for Goma. He didn't rest and he went under a lot of pain. And one day, he finally learned that she was working at a house in Bethel as a slave. Hello, sir. Who are you? My name is Hosea. I heard that my wife Gomer is working here. What? <laughs> so Gomer has a husband? I can't believe it. You may laugh as much as you want, sir, but I want my wife back. All right, all right. You can have her. No problem. But you will have to pay me. I'm ready to pay you. How much do you want? Give me 50 shekels of silver and I'll let her go. Hosea paid for Gomer's release and he released Goma. Goma! My husband! Dear, you're looking so miserable. I'm so sorry. I should have never left you. Come with me, dear, and never leave me again. No, I, I don't deserve such love. Don't say that. Our life is a symbol of Israel. All these happen to us so that the world can understand what Israel's sin is and our Lord's love for us. I have been taught a great lesson today. Israel is like an unfaithful woman. She went after other gods and idols, but our Lord will never abandon her. Even as I love you, in spite of all your sins, so does God love all his people in spite of their wickedness. So he learned the lesson that even when God is greatly displeased at us, he loves us and when we return to him, he will receive us. Wow! Wow! And what about their children? Did he get them back? Yes, he bought them back from the slave market and he got them home. That was a great story, father. You liked it? Yes. All right. Mm, this fish looks quite tasty. I'm hungry. I'm gonna start eating. No, no, wait. Let's finish with the questions and then we'll start, okay? Yes, father. All right. Now tell me who was Gomer's father? Gomer was the daughter of Prophet Dibley. That's correct. What was the name of Hosea's children? Lucy, can you tell me the name of his first son? Hosea's first son was named Jezreel. And why was he named that? Hosea named him after the place named Jezreel, where Jehu, the captain, killed his own king. That's correct, Lucy. And now, George, you tell me the name of his daughter. Hosea named his daughter Lo Ruma, which meant no pity. That's correct, George. Can you also name his second son? His second son was named Lo Ami, which meant not my people. That's very good. That's all for today. We can start with the food now. Father, which story are you going to tell us tomorrow? Oh yes. I will tell you the story of a farmer who rose to protest against the violence and injustice. The story of Mika. Now, let's stop talking and concentrate on the food now.